Hey everybody, my name is Wes Beagle and welcome back to the CEO Life Today. Today we are taking a look at a fragrance from this new house that I found out about recently. This is Talisman Perfume Oils. They are a pretty awesome house. Um, they do of course designer perfumes, or perfume oils as most perfume oil companies do. Uh, as you guys might know, I'm a huge fan of perfume oils. I've done a lot of stuff and own personally a lot of ones from say Zoha or Royal Perfumery in Canada. And this house here, while they do, um, from what I'm told, great designer stuff, haven't smelt their stuff, I was really interested to try their Middle Eastern stuff. It's a given that most perfume oil companies do great designer stuff. I mean, those ones are kind of easy. They're easy to get down, and a lot of people, you know, it's easy to make something mass appealing. This stuff, on the other hand, ouds and making those yummy and to smell nice, or even to just produce ouds that are just really great, great smelling things and don't have like a fecal note or smell not that great. Um, that's usually a, a bit of a hit and miss, especially in markets, say, like Canada and the U.S. You're not traditionally finding people who want something that's super oody and not really mass appealing. Where this stuff, on the other hand, that I have here, very mass appealing, very sweet, and probably one of my favorite scents now, guys. I really enjoy this. So this is Blooded Deer. This is their best seller. What this is, it's a combination of their white oud mixed with royal oud mixed with vanilla. So there are three different fragrance oils, I assume, all mixed together. This stuff smells great. What does it smell like, though? So when you put this on, you get this massive hit of kind of a white musky type of smell. If you've smelled white musk from the body shop, it's very similar to that. Mixed with a bit of oud, so it's a very clean, slightly soapy vibe I get from this. Uh, then it turns into, you get this kick of oud that starts coming in, and it's a more ambery, very woodsy type of oud. Um, something similar to say like a Perielis Black Vanilla Absolute type of oud. Not very off-putting. Um, not very like a huge strong pungent oud. It's a very very sweet oud very nice woody smell uh, Then from there you get this kind of caramel and vanilla vibe that comes into there and this scent here is incredible guys This smells amazing. It has a slight masculine edge to it, too I do think this is unisex. However, it does have this like slight masculine tinge, which I do like I find with a lot of uh, Caramely vanilla scents. They're very feminine this stuff, on the other hand, with that little bit of oud and I think the bit of freshness and soapiness you get from the white musk type of vibe in there does help make this stuff a lot more uh, masculine. But it smells great. Uh, I, I really do enjoy this company, so it's Talisman Perfume Oils. I'd highly recommend go checking them out. One little complaint I do have, guys, that i got to be honest with you about, they do use glass roller balls here, so the roller ball in here is glass. I'm not a huge fan of them because I find them a bit sticky. They're a little hard to actually get rolling. However, I will say this, and... While the glass rollerball in this is not that great, the oil that's in here projects an incredible amount. It's almost to the point where I'd say it's a little too strong, but in a good way. So for me, the glass rollerballs don't really like them because it doesn't put enough oil onto your skin. However, the little bit that it did put on, I have three other fragrances on here. One of them is a Thierry Mugler scent. It's overpowered all of them, guys. This stuff is strong. This stuff, definitely well worth the money. And yeah, it's a pretty cool company. So I have some other stuff from them. I got, I kind of requested their top five ouds because I love ouds. So I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos on them. Make sure you guys go check it out. And in terms of longevity too, this stuff lasts a long time. We're talking a good 10, 11 hours easily. And it's just very nice, very sweet. And to me, this again, just kind of turns into this nice caramely vanilla scent with a little kick of oud in there. Very nice, v definitely very uh, mass appealing. And I think it's a very westernized take on oud. So go check this out, guys. If you're a fan of oud, you're a fan of sweet fragrances, check this out. This is Blood of Deer.